This is a review on the Garris Pizza Oven. You want to make homemade pizza, but you don't want to buy a dedicated pizza oven that may cost hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Well, this is a company called Garris. They sent me this pizza oven to do a full review. Now, disclosure, I'm not paid to do this review. I'm merely reviewing the product and you're gonna get my honest opinion. Now I've cooked hundreds of pizzas and for those of you that have seen all my different reviews, I've done a lot of different pizza companies as far as reviewing their pizza ovens from high-end gas and the small wood pellet ovens. Now the Garris is unique in that there's no gas for this unit, there's no wood pellets and there's no wood. You merely take the unit, carry it out on your gas grill, set it down, let it heat up and then cook your pizza. Now the one nice feature about this oven is that the pizza stone is removable and this opens up. So it's really easy to take out, to put in, and most importantly, when you're cooking your pizza, that goes down and seals everything in this dome with a nice opening so you can see inside what's going on as you turn your pizza with your pizza turner. But to take it out, you can lift it up and have all the room in the world to get your pizza out without hitting any of the edges or the top of the unit. Now the Garris Pizza Oven comes with some really nice literature. It comes with a recipe book, with some information, it comes with your startup guide and a coupon for a free silicon glove. You get a little bonus, including the pizza peel, which is for this 16 inch pizza oven. Now, can this get to temp and cook a pizza really well? Well, I've made some pizza dough. Now I've got my pizza dough right here that we're gonna go ahead and ball up and see how this pizza oven performs out on the grill. Now we have the Garris Pizza Oven out here. I've got my gas grill fired up. It's almost 650 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and put this inside, let it warm up for about 20 minutes, and then we're gonna see if it's at temp, and then cook our pizza. Now on the Garris Pizza Oven, there's a gauge on top. as temperatures that are ideal up to hot, and ideal looks like it's about 455 degrees on the stone. I wanna get that stone up even more, so the temperature that's showing the thermometer is a little bit off in the sense of when I think you should put the pizza in. Certainly it's hot at the dome, which is a powder coated steel, but that stone has gotta be hot over 550 degrees. So when I put the pizza in, it cooks that pizza really quick on the bottom as well as on the top. So I can even cook and don't have either raw pizza on top or a raw dough or pizza toppings that are cooked on the top, ready to go when the pizza is not done on the bottom. Take a look and see what our temperature is on the stone. So right now we're at 515 degrees, 525, we'll go inside a little bit. Back of the stone, 540. So I think we're just about there. I'm gonna get the pizza, put it on, and let's see how it goes. Okay, here we have our fantastic pizza. Pepperoni, a little bit of onion on here, homemade tomato sauce. Let's go and get this baby fired up. Oh, okay. Here we go. Pizza's in. Let's go and close it up for a minute. And then we're gonna turn it, see how it comes out. So we're about 10 minutes in. I've turned it a couple times. I'm gonna take it out, bring it inside, cut it up, and see what our pizza looks like. Not looking bad. Crust is not brown on top, which I suspected for the heat on the dome. Pizza looks like it's cooked pretty good. Cheese is melted, pepperoni's cupped up. Now this is pizza number two. Just to show you, I'm not perfect. I let the pizza sit out too long, it's stuck. Got a little mushy pizza. Not a perfect round circle, but it's okay. This one I think is gonna be better than the first one. I let it heat up again. It was about 565 degrees this time, so about 15 degrees hotter. I think it made a difference. Take a look and see. Oh yeah, okay. The last pizza was not done. I mean, it was done, but not like this. Look at this. This is my bear claw pizza. You like this, my bear claw pizza? You gotta improvise, it looks like a bear claw. I intended it to come out that way. There you go, that looks really good. Let's take it inside and check it out. That was the first pizza. That's the second pizza. Definitely a pass on this with the crust. This one wasn't hot enough, I don't think. It was left in the same amount of time, but we went full burners on this one, left it on the whole time. And uh, other than my little bear claw pattern, check it out. So what do I think about the Garris Pizza Oven? I'm not gonna give it a score. People have said, oh, do you give it a score one to 10? I think that's so subjective. It really does an injustice to companies to give it a number score, especially if you don't have everything laid out and you score everything equally. This being a 
barbecue pizza oven that sits on your gas grill, I have to say it actually worked. And I was very surprised. I'm skeptical when I got it out of the box. It is a thinner metal. It is powder coated and it does have though a very nice pizza stone. The 16 inch lets you do a nice large pizza and it did get hot enough. Now the mistake I made was on the first time I did the first pizza you saw, the crust really didn't get brown. That's because I didn't realize my burners were about three quarters up because I noticed that the temperature on top was pegged in the hot section. So I was afraid that maybe I'd break the thermometer. However, I did get an email from Gara saying, you can close the lid, it's not gonna hurt it. So I was just a little bit nervous, but I cranked it up, shut it down, nothing cracked, the temperature gauge stayed there, it was pegged on hot, and that time, I got the result you saw on the second pizza, which was a nice golden brown crust. I screwed up the launch. Hey, you know, shit happens. And it came out really well. Here's the pros. If you have a gas grill and you don't have a pizza oven, you don't want to buy a dedicated pizza oven, you feel that you want to be able to just put a stone on the barbecue, which by the way, I used to do about maybe eight years ago. I had a square pizza stone that I bought. I stuck it on the grill, fired it up closed, and I cooked pizzas on it. It came out okay. It definitely didn't brown the crust like the Garris does because it has the dome in there, which actually helps brown that pizza dough. The negative, if you will, which really isn't a negative, but the, the con is if you're in a rush to do a pizza, you're not gonna get it done in 30 to 60 seconds like a wood-fired pizza oven or a gas pizza oven. It's just not gonna happen because that temperature was maximum about 565 degrees. So I couldn't get it really pushed up to 600. Now with a gas grill that maybe is more powerful than this Weber, you might be able to get it up there, but I'll give you a warning. The crust was really nice in the bottom, super crispy, and was almost burnt at one point. So because that dome is not putting as much heat on the top of the pizza, I left it in longer to get that nice brown crust on the edge, which almost overdid the bottom. And that's one of the challenges with this type of pizza dome. It takes about eight minutes. You probably can go 10, and your pizza is going to be done and you'll have absolutely delicious pizza. If you buy a dough at one of the stores that's already made for you, you'll have no problem getting that thing launched. If you're making a homemade pizza, I think then it's going to take maybe a little bit longer because of that fresh dough. But in the end, it came out absolutely fantastic tasting. And I would absolutely recommend that if you need something for your gas grill and you want to cook pizza for your family and you're not in a rush and you've got 10 minutes or so to let the pizza sit on there and turn it as you're actually working with it, I think it's a good solution. Thanks for watching. And if you're a company that sees this and you wanna have a review of your pizza oven or any other appliance like I've done with my instant thermometers or anything that's in the culinary world, including knife sharpening equipment, which is really hot right now on my YouTube channel, drop a comment down below or send me a message. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Smoke on baby.